How are you guys? Yeah, it's wet. Very wet. I'm about to move the horses' fence so they get some more fresh grass today. These guys are all here. They were under that tree seeking shelter. Isn't that right? There we go. Sheep, horses, and Mr. Bourbon Flyer, the alpaca. Yeah. Ooh. They're a bit spooked right now because there's a wind up and a pheasant, when I came out in the field just now, flew up under my feet. Spooked me, but in spooking me, it spooked them. So we all had a fright. And there you can see Peppers come to help. Wandering out. Now, what do you guys want? Hmm? What do you guys want? I better get to work. Yeah. Filling out beautifully, aren't you? Before I do the move fencing for the horses, I have to turn the electric off. So that's why the horses are waiting over there, because they know what I'm coming back to do. But here's my electric fence. It's a solar one. It works really well. And I just turn it off. There we go. I do that as a double safety precaution. It also makes it so if I forget to turn it on, I can look down the fence line and I can see nothing's attached to that, so I have to come and turn it on. Here's the old fella. Sheep all sniffing around each other. There's the oak tree, safe within a uh, fence. Those are sheep hurdles I used during lambing. But they're protecting the oak tree for the time being until I fence it off. There we go. Oh, look who's joined us. Hey, kitty. Yeah, how's kitty? I know, all these big lambs. Look at that, not bothered at all. <laughs> Getting on his viewing platform, much like Bodacious used to do. Oh, here are the horses. Okay, I better go move the fence now for you guys. You'll appreciate on this wet day. Mind you, it's quite mild. Won't you, Ishka, my beautiful girl? Aren't you such a beautiful girl? Yes. Good girl. Here you can see the fence where I moved it. This side was grazed. This side wasn't grazed. So the horses are now grazing the section which I'm walking in right here. This is the ungrazed. So they've now started grazing this start part. You can see there's the grazed part that they've had access. And there you can see the back fence that I keep creeping this way. So they still have a large paddock, but then there's a lot more over there that they don't have access to. Oh, hello. Yes, hello. Yes. Oh, you're jealous. Are you jealous, Maya? Where's Maya? Here's Maya. You never know what's going to happen. Whoop! There we go. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Back. 
out of the field. So horses are having a lovely fresh nip of grass. So I moved the electric fence all the way up to here. So they've got a strip now that they can line graze there and this square here. So you can see the difference of what they have and haven't had access to. And here are the lambs with the best grass there is on the farm at the moment. It might look long, but it's actually lovely and nutritious and they're loving it. And big fat bellies on them, so you know they're eating plenty of it. So, and then others you can see, they're sheltering from the rain underneath the willow tree. Because they're not in the field with the oak tree. There's the great oak tree. That willow tree, I think we planted be 15 years ago at this stage. More or less 15 year old willow tree. So yeah. Yeah. How's Kitty? Oh, how's Bear? And Inca. Hey, everybody's here. Oh, and you. And you. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna leave these two and go turn their electric fence on. Job done for the day.